Does academic level affect student perceptions of threaded discussions and online learning? Dr. Linda Best, professor of early childhood and reading at Edinburgh University, answered that very question in her third article about student perceptions in the online learning environment. I was curious about do students differ in their perceptions of using online threaded discussions or class discussions um, in relation to freshmen, sophomore, um, graduate students, doctoral students. After recognizing her students' perceptions to the online learning environment, Bess wanted to find out more and collect her findings to show other researchers. I was finding that the undergraduate students were posting a great deal to the online class discussions. They were very lengthy in their response, a lot of quality, um, depth in their response. They seemed to be very eager. Dr. Daniel Shelley, a professor at Robert Morris University, worked with Best on the article, and Best explains how their research prior to the article brought a grant to Edinburgh. But uh, in 1999, 2000 to 2004, Dr. Shelley and I were co-directors of a Preparing Tomorrow's Teachers to Use Technology grant. <clears throat> it was designed as a research grant. Um, it was a $1.7 million grant that was awarded to the university. And as co-directors, it was our job to help faculty learn and embrace to use the tools of technology. With the new generation becoming involved more with technology, Bess teased on her new piece of research. I'm moving for my new research. It's um, actually already in the proposal stages. I have a, a manuscript that I actually um, is titled for a whole series on online discussions. Excuse me, for online learners. And um, we're going to be looking at the learning community. So how do you embrace the online forums as a form of community? Reporting for ETV, I'm Leslie Schaefer.